This is the second version of the instructions for using GeoGebra to do a curve of best fit. I've had a couple people ask me about using Apple computers and the fact that they don't seem to be able to right click. So I'm going to show you how you can do it without having to worry about the right clicking on the screen. You start off the same way of course at the GeoGebra download page. Go to GeoGebra.org and then select the download page. I suggest web start right there and um, you sh might take a little while but eventually you will get a screen that looks like this. The first thing you do is the same. You go to view spreadsheet. Now what we're going to do is type in some numbers here to make things up. typed in the numbers. Now, this is different if you're on a Mac. Instead of right-clicking, go up to this icon right here and select Create List of Points there. This window will pop up. Press Create. Now, you can't see your list of points on the screen because we have to adjust the axis. So, instead of right-clicking, click on the screen first and then go up to Edit and Object Properties. We want to change the graphics, so we go here to Preference, Graphics, and we're going to change the grid. The x-axis is fine, but the y-axis needs to go to about 90 so you can see your stuff. Next, we will go to Grid here and click on Show Grid, and you can change how it looks here. I'm going to stick with the solid line. I close that, and now all my points are there. And so now we're ready to type in on the command line down here. So I type here fit poly square bracket list one comma two enter and there's my curve of best fit and my equation up here sometimes this this screen blocks the equation so just make it bigger so what you need to do now is you take a screenshot of the whole thing paste it in a word document write down your equation of best fit. This is the same as y equals, so the f of x here is just like y. So it's y equals 1.47x squared minus 2.93x plus 4.34. And using that equation, you will then answer the questions on the question sheet. Do not answer the questions in the textbook. You are only using the table of values from the textbook. Answer the questions from my question sheet and then go on to the next one. So to do the next question, you just delete everything here and restart typing. Anyways, if you need any uh, help, of course, you should come see me in the mornings in the classroom or after school in the classroom or at the beginning of lunch.